Hello beautiful people! So I'm making this video because I wanted to give a report of how it was for me since Amani Tam's career came into my life and how the microdosing has been going on for me. So just a little recap, we were in Germany and there, <laughs> I was speaking German for a second, um, there we found Amanita Muscaria growing in the woods like crazy everywhere they started to pop up so beautifully and yeah so I didn't I hear about Amanita before but I didn't have any contact with her at first okay so yeah we cooked it made it into a tincture and yeah then we were microdosing it so I was trying to find my dosage uh, what I was doing first was like I started with a half a spoon and then I was going higher and higher to just see what's my micro and my macro dosage. I haven't reached my macro doses yet. Um, yeah, so over the time I was doing a protocol of like three days, four days, so three days no, four days yes. So, but yeah. Um, okay, and then I was, um, how we started was actually after we collect the mushrooms. We were sleeping in a bed on a wooden bench, so there was space around it. What we did is we took all the mushrooms that we collected and we put them around us. So while we were sleeping, we would be surrounded by Amanita muscaria, and I can definitely tell how powerful that was. She came instantly in our dreams, in my dreams. And yeah, so she was showing me in my dreams how I would pick her and eat her. She was showing me how happy I was. Like she was showing me a very nice side and her energy was very gentle. Um, then we didn't have a dehydrator and we were traveling, right? So we just did this in the oven by 50 degrees, very simple <laughs> with the door open. And it worked, it became cracky. So yeah, we did that. And yes, yeah, so while it was dehy uh, dehydrating in the oven, what we did is we were sitting around it and we were smelling it, how, how it was making a beautiful smell, very beautiful smell. It was absolutely del delicious, like the most delicious smell of a mushroom I've ever experienced. Um, so we started to microdose like this by just being around her and not directly to ingest it. And then I was very careful with how the dosages was going. And yeah, so I read about it, I hear some podcasts about it and I was, uh, yeah, just dealing with her almost every day, um, finding new recipes. I was really into it. And yeah, right after the int introduction of yeah into my body, um, I was checking out how my mood swings would go because I used to be quite um, in balance. I had an imbalance with my mood. Sometimes I would be super happy and like over the, and then sometimes I would be angry and I wouldn't understand that I'm angry. So I had a big trauma and blockage with my anger and I was my intention with Amanita was every time I was taking it in I was saying okay show me what I need to see and yeah please help me to to allow my feelings to happen as they are instead of trying to make them different um, and yeah so this is what I was doing the intention um, I'm just checking in, okay. Yeah, by the way, I'm making a Amanita now. Here, this is the the last day, the last dosage that, the last amount that we have collected. So here, so beautiful in a jar with a thing that is taking the, 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 the wetness of it out. Um, and I'm making it very small here with some blue lotus and gonna smoke it <laughs> so yeah so this is another way of how i am using amanita anyways so amanita was mostly 
working with me in the dreams. I wanted to use her also for my dreams because I felt like I have some traumas going on in my dream world it would always come up so I would dream about being murdered or trying to run away from someone was hiding from someone and there was always a big group that I tried to save but I wouldn't succeed so I would always die or they would die and it was always horrible and I would wake up feeling very shitty about it and it would happen all the time so I was with Amanita so my intention was like okay what, what is going on what is this about and yeah actually up to now I don't have those dreams anymore so I felt like I did had a breakthrough with it it's not just that I didn't dream about it anymore it became also like I became more lucid so I remember a dream where I was caught in this very small room and there was a man in inside the door frame and I couldn't get out and I know that he was about to kill me so yeah and in that moment I became lucid and I said wait hold on I don't want that so I kind of like ask inside of me to change the position so he went away and I run away and then I fly away because I liked it and I fly out of the window and over the fence and my dog was waiting there for me so very beautiful <laughs> Uh, and yeah then I wake up so yeah and then so it was affecting uh, me in my dreams and yeah I was checking in with my mood I was kind of expecting it to lift my mood or something which was not really happening it was more like okay if negative emotions came um, I would see how automatic reactions I have um, and yeah, then it would slowly and slowly give me space to see myself and to give me an option, like a, an opportunity to change my behavior. But I had to do the work, right? So it's not like you take the medicine and the medicine does the job for you. You have to do it. <laughs> and it took me a while to understand this properly because even when you have the knowledge, it's not always easy to amplify it directly, right? At least for me. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then we, I was reading more about Amanita. And then from Amanita Dreamer, I was reading that to use marijuana is not really suggested by her. Because it goes on the same receptors. And therefore you feel like there's not much effect so you need more like if you want to make a macro dose for example um, so I was trying to stop smoking which was yeah going quite good um, and yeah and then um, yeah actually I feel like more or less what was happening is that I was trying to develop my personality I was trying to take the negative patterns that I would like to change and Amanita was with a very very gentle energy was always giving me such a support like hugging me and was telling me okay you go ahead and do it so um, that was more or less what was more happening that I was changing my personality and my patterns that I wouldn't like to have but obviously it's a journey it's not something that is happening all the time and directly instantly it's you you have to make the work and that means that Amanita will help you to stay at your development with the level you have reached let's say um, and that is very helpful which I haven't found in any other plant medicines so if I have a realization I could take the realization and allow me to walk with me through my life and not just having a realization having a realization and then forget about it because mostly it's like matrix comes right and then we forget all our realizations I mean you need to realize it again so with Amanita I feel like I'm making a faster progress um, and 
yeah so and now about smoking i was trying it just recently um it's psychoactive right not psychedelic so i was not expecting anything and yeah we need to smoke a lot in order to feel something which i haven't also reached yet i let me yesterday for example i like to smoke it at night um yeah so far it's the first time i smoke in the daytime now and and yeah i had like two joints or like two long papers uh and i wasn't saying that i was feeling too much it made me very calm because also with the blue lotus uh which i was mixing it with made me very calm and rooted somehow um and yeah okay that's it okay <laughs> i love you